The Quinta do Retiro Novo Estate is located in the Douro demarcated region in northeast Portugal. The region was demarcated in 1756, making it the world's oldest wine producing region. It stretches along the course of the River Douro from Serra do Marão downstream to the Spanish border upstream. The river and its tributaries, as well as the slopes where the vines are planted, profoundly define the region. The climate is tough, very hot in the summer, cold and not very wet in the winter. The soil is shale-based with low organic content. The vines fight an ongoing battle for survival, especially in the Upper Corgo and Upper Douro, and this gives rise to small, very concentrated outcrops of very high quality. The Quinta do Retiro Novo estate is located in this landscape of rare beauty which has been carved out by the hands of men over centuries between the small village of Sassadinho and a tributary of the Douro, River Torto. The vines are mainly planted on terraces. The oldest ones are kept in place by shale walls. All agricultural work on these terraces is done by hand. Machinery can be used on the terraces built more recently, and the main tasks are ploughing or applying chemical treatments. In some places, the vine has been planted in vertical format where the slope permits. Let's go and visit the Quinta do Retiro Novo estate, where the harvest is underway and the estate's grapes and those bought from neighbouring estates are being processed at the winery to be transformed into port or Douro wines. The hubbub of work is clear to see from the entrance. The boxes to collect and transport the grapes await removal. The harvest requires large numbers of people, there are those that collect the grapes and transport them to the winemaking areas, those who manoeuvre the equipment, the technicians directing the work, and also the administrative personnel, as well as those who work behind the scenes taking care of all the services that a team like this requires, supplying food, cleaning clothes, ensuring cleanliness and hygiene is respected. The people harvesting the grapes do not nowadays, unlike in the past, live on the estate. They travel to the estate every day from their homes. However, all the other workers stay on the estate during the entire harvest. Therefore, the estate has the facilities to accommodate them. The reason for this is that it is hard work and it has no set working timetable. Tasks that need to be performed may arise at any time of the day or night. The grapes of the Quinta do Retiro Novo estate are all red grapes of different varieties. The oldest plots, some of which are more than 100 years old, will contain several grape varieties, as was the custom at that time. These cannot, therefore, be separately harvested and transformed into wine. They produce very small production runs of deeply coloured and very concentrated wine. The grape varieties were planted separately in more recent plots, less than 20 years old. Thus, we have plots with Toriga Franca, Tinto Bojoca, Tinto Rorige, Tinto Caon y Toriga Nacional. The entire estate holds an A classification, this being the highest possible official classification for a property on the Douro. When the vines are registered, they receive a point score according to their characteristics, which influence the quality of the wines produced. 
This score takes into consideration such factors as the nature of the land, the slope, solar exposure, location, altitude, the planted grape varieties, their age and other factors. All these factors are important in determining the final quality of the wine produced. Properties scoring more than 1,200 points are awarded letter A, like Quinta do Retiro Novo. As we can see, all the grapes are harvested by hand and deposited in boxes that ensure the grapes arrive at the winery in the best possible condition. The period of time from harvest of the vine to entry into the winery is short. This ensures prolonged exposure to the heat that often accompanies the harvest is avoided. This helps ward off contamination and diseases that may jeopardize the quality of the wines being produced. The boxes of grapes are weighed on arrival at the winery and then emptied into a receiving bin. The grapes then move onto a selecting mat where the lower quality bunches are removed. The next phase is stemming and crushing. The grapes are totally or partially separated from the woody part of the bunch to prevent excessive tannins and astringency of the wine. The grapes are softly crushed and the resulting must channeled to the vat where the alcoholic fermentation will take place. The winery possesses excellent technical conditions for wine production. The small thermal power plant can generate heat or cold the cold is essential to keep the alcoholic fermentation under temperature control. Heat is very useful when alcoholic fermentation has finished and the malolactic fermentation of Doro red wines is to be initiated by heat, which usually occurs during cold months of the year, November and December. <laughs> The must produced by the stemmer crusher machine moves on to the fermentation stage, which occurs in a suitable vat or tank. The deepest possible colour is sought from the skins in the production of red wine. When winemaking occurs in a vat, the must from the bottom is periodically removed and reinserted at the top, causing it to pass through a thick layer of skins and seeds, which is called the cap. 
This maceration process is known as remontage or pumping over. The process is automatic and computer controlled at Quinta do Retiro Novo's fermentation facilities. The estate has traditional granite tanks where the must is crushed by foot. This is the oldest known method of maceration and it is surely one of the best solutions that can be adopted. However, the scarcity of personnel to perform this task means that automatic methods had to be adopted and the estate installed modern stainless steel circular tanks equipped with robotic crushers that simulate man's work. This equipment is also computer controlled to ensure they remain at the right temperature and the crushers follow the Enologist preset program. The results of this new technique are perfectly comparable to those achieved with grapes crushed by foot. Port is produced by adding vinic brandy to the must at a specific stage of alcoholic fermentation. This halts fermentation and generates a wine with a higher alcohol content which retains a specific amount of sugar. Once the vinic brandy is added, the wine is transferred to ageing vats where it awaits the cold temperature of the following winter to precipitate the substances in suspension and leave it as crystalline as possible. The work in the winery during the harvest almost never stops. The fermentation has to be controlled and the vinic brandy added at just the right time and the wine transferred from one container to another. Even though modern technological advances permit greater control of these operations, they still rely on natural forces which require the permanent availability of the personnel involved. A winery never closes, not even during the night. The most it does is slow down a little. The work of harvesting the grapes is different, though. The harvesters start very early, taking advantage of the cool morning temperatures and work until the middle of the afternoon. Many of them come from far away and they still have a long distance to travel home. Everything is a reason for enjoyment, for the harvest is, after all, the culmination of a whole year's work and they live it in full since they know that this festive ritual will only be renewed the following year. <laughs>